Nine right now, last night at 10, we told you that five employees of a Houston towing company face up to 20 years in prison, accused of scamming customers out of thousands. Our own Amy Davis first shed light on the allegations against USA Auto Collision three weeks ago. With the help of city council members, the owner scored a valuable contract, then stuck drivers with exorbitant fees. Even after a police raid, city council delayed the vote to end the contract. Our Amy Davis is joining us this morning to explore the connection between the company's owner and council members. Amy? Yeah, Ellen, City Council awarded one of the Safe Clear contracts to USA Auto Collision Center and Richard Gonzalez back in November. And we now know in the months and years leading up to that vote, Gonzalez donated handsomely to council members' campaigns. Channel 2 Investigates found more than $35,000 Gonzalez gave to city council members since 2011. And after members voted to give him the Safe Clear contract, Gonzalez got access other constituents did not. In March, when he felt Houston police were treating him unfairly, Councilman Dwight Boykins, who took $2,500 from Gonzalez in 2013, called a closed door meeting in his council office with an HPD chief, lieutenant, sergeant, and Gonzalez so he could complain about another HPD investigator. Boykins maintains even after that meeting, he didn't know about all the consumer complaints against Gonzalez. What came out in that meeting? Did you hear HPD say, we've got some issues with this company? You know what, the more hindsight, I heard them, but I didn't hear them. I wish they would say, Councilman Boykin, can I visit with you in private? Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Because that would have stopped it then. We now know HPD was in the middle of its undercover investigation of USA Auto and Gonzalez, and they could not reveal those details. But Rice University Baker Institute political science fellow Mark Jones told us Gonzalez's contributions to council members make it appear some members are looking out for him over tax-paying consumers. Really, you're putting people in a very vulnerable situation. You, when you get that influence, uh, what suffers uh, are the citizens and their rights sometimes. Now coming up tomorrow, City Council has another shot. It is expected to vote on whether to cancel Gonzalez's safe, clear contract. Boykins tells us he will vote to do that, to cancel it. We don't know how other council members will vote, but we will be there to let you know. In the newsroom, I'm consumer expert Amy Davis, KPRC, Channel 2 News.